Hello, in this video you will learn, how to build and do integration between different lists within one form, using Spark Forms Builder. We will create a tickets form for the support system, and integrate different lists into this form, to select the data from them, using Spark Forms Builder. In the beginning, I created these three lists as we see here. Two for the request type, category name, and details, and a list for the priority. To learn how to create a list in SharePoint in detail, you can watch the tutorial video listed in the description below. Now we are going to see how to integrate these lists with the tickets form. So let's start from the list at the top. Click on Spark Forms Builder to open the canvas to design the form. As you see here, I've previously designed this form to display data in it. If you are interested in how to customize the design for the form in detail, you can watch the tutorial video listed in the description below. Now we are going to add the request type, which will display the category name from the request type level 1 list. To display the request type, we are going to use the lookup control. From the toolbox panel, drag and drop the lookup control. Modify the control properties. Type the control ID. Type the placeholder. Now we want to connect the lookup control with a list from dynamic data source. Click on the lookup selector icon. Lookup setting window will open. Set the lookup settings. In the site list select request type level 1. and select the SharePoint field that you want to display in the form. Then click on OK. Connect the lookup control with the SharePoint field. Then make it required. And I did the same for the priority control. To retrieve the data for the priority list. After adding the request type, the category name. We are going to add the second level of the request type the details, based on the user selection from the request type level 1. From the toolbox panel, drag and drop the lookup control. Modify the control properties. Type the control ID. Connect the control with the list from dynamic data source. Click on the lookup selector icon. Set the lookup settings. In the site list select request type level 2. And select the SharePoint field that you want to display in the form. Now we are going to add a filter. To retrieve only the data that belongs to the category, that the user has chosen from the first list. You can filter the values in the lookup control by specifying the filter selections. As we see here in the filter selections. You can filter by controls value in the form. Or filter by specific value. Or advanced filter by generate camel query. In our case, we are going to select controls value. Then from filter by control, select the control lookup request type level 1. To compare with the data source field, request type level 1 ID. Then click on OK. Map the lookup control with SharePoint field. Let's now publish the form, and see how it works. Let's get back to our list. Click on New. Let's select the application. And here we are the request type level 2 data have been retrieved based on our selection from the request type level 1. Let's select another request type. We saw how to integrate between different lists, by using the lookup control. Now we will see how to integrate our form with a list, through the get list item data function. We will retrieve the responsible person, from the list request type level 2. As we see here. Each request type has a responsible person or group, to follow up on the ticket. So we want to retrieve the responsible person, 
based on the user selection for the request type level 2. To do that, we are going to use the special Spark function get list item data to retrieve the display name and the ID for the item to use them in further operation later, like workflows. From the toolbox panel, under integration, let's drag and drop the people picker control to retrieve the value for it. Modify the control properties. Type the control ID. Map the people picker control with SharePoint field. And selection of people and groups. Select the request type level 2 lookup control to add the rule and the function for it. From the top ribbon, click on the control rules. Create a new rule. Modify the rule name. Select rule type action. And apply the rule on change. Then add the condition that will apply the function only if the lookup request type level 2 is selected. In the action text box, we are going to add the get list item data function. From the right panels, under functions, Spark forms provide a hundred build in functions. At the search box type get list item data. And here it is. You can have more details about the function from here. As we see here, this function needs parameters, site path, list name, camel query, fields to retrieve, return flag. This function returns the values in an array. To add the function, click on the plus icon. Type the site path and the list name. Add the camel query, you can create it by the camel query builder. From the top ribbon here, the camel query builder window will open. Select the site and the list, that we are going to retrieve the data from it. From here, we are going to add a filter, to retrieve the data based on. From request type level to list, select the ID field, to compare with, the lookup request type level to control. From the top ribbon, click on insert. Then, type the fields that you want to retrieve, here we are going to retrieve the responsible field. We use the return flag to specify the returned value to be the ID or the text or the combined value of a complex SharePoint column such as lookup and people picker. If the return flag is true, then it will return the ID value only. If the return flag is false, then it will return the display text only. And if you want the combined value leave it empty. Here we are going to return the display text only. So we are going to type false. Now we are going to use the responsible value in our form. We want to set the value for the people picker responsible control in the form. Using the set people picker function. So, again from the right panel. Function. Search for set people picker. And here it is. As we see here. This function needs two parameters, the control ID, which is the responsible control, and the username, that we have already retrieved in the array. To add the parameters, there are two ways, by the wizard, or manually. I am going to add them manually. Click on the plus icon. Select the control ID. and then set the value in the array. Then click save. Great. We have finished designing the form. Let's now publish the form and see how it works. Let's get back to our list. Click on new. Let's select the application. And here we are all the request type level 2 data, have been retrieved in the lookup. Now let's select public portal. As we see here the responsible has been retrieved. Let's select another request type. We saw, 
how to integrate between different lists within one form, by using lookup control. And by using one of Spark Forms Builder's internal functions get list item data. Follow us to learn more about advanced features in Spark Forms Builder and SharePoint. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and if you have a comment please write it down. Thank you.